Pro Volume Fader Tutorial. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and in this video, I'm going to show you all the ways to access the volume sliders in the DJ Pro AI app. All right, so as DJ Pro AI and DJing with the iPad become more and more popular, people are starting to switch from Serato Virtual DJ Record Box, and they want to get into DJing with the iPad with DJ Pro AI. And when you first download the app and you look at it, it could be a little, uh, a little frustrating, and it could look a lot different than what you're used to. Most DJs are used to having two volume faders right there in front of you as soon as you open the software. And with DJ Pro AI, when we open the software, we are going to be looking at this screen. So it's going to be two decks next to each other right here. Uh, we have the BPM sliders, and then we have the crossfader, which the crossfader is not the same as the volume fader, even though it could do the same thing. Most DJs, except for like scratch DJs or other type of DJs like that, most DJs use the volume fader and don't really touch the crossfader that much. So it can be really frustrating trying to use a new software that doesn't have volume faders. So DJ Pro has so many great features that they had to make different screens and had to make some hidden things that make it easier to access all these great features on such a small screen. So the first one, the first way to find the volume fader in classic mode, when you start the app, you're gonna be in classic mode. DJ Pro is different than other softwares because up here we have all of these modes, pro mode, looper, auto mix, and one deck, and so on. So if we're starting in classic mode, we have these two turntables, but now if we press this button here, so not the, mid the middle one will give you the waveforms, but the one to the left will give you a mixer. So now this has the volume faders that we're all used to using. There's one on the right, one on the left, and then you got the levels here and they even put a filter up here. So you still get the full view of everything. It's just a little bit smaller. And now you have access to these great traditional looking volume faders that if you're, even if you're used to DJing on two turntables and a mixer, these volume faders will be easy for you guys to just pick up and start using. The touch control is really smooth and really good. All you have to do is touch where you want it to go. Let's say if we wanted it to go like three lines down, we would just touch there or you could touch there or you could slide it. If you wanted to go all the way to the top, you could easily go to the top or go to the bottom. But right now I'm just tapping the screen. You don't actually have to slide it. But if you want to slowly fade something in and out, you could use the volume faders just like you were using an external hard drive, an external hardware or any type of volume slider like that. But that's not all. In this screen, they give us another volume fader. So now if we press EQ down here, boom. Now we get a full EQ, lows, mids, and highs. We get our outer levels down here and a gain up here. So uh, DJ Pro has a very good auto gain. I recommend leaving that setting on. But if you want to adjust the gain yourself, you could use these little gain controls. And now they somehow geniusly were able to put the volume faders on top of the level. So you don't lose anything. You still have your levels and you still have your volume faders. Yes, they're a little bit smaller than if you have EQ mode off, but they still serve the same purpose. And then you could have a mixture and your volume faders in the same screen while still in classic mode. And I think that was one of the best updates that they did. Another thing is if we go over here, we go over to pro mode. And then now you get a big view of your library. You get um, this, I believe, is the most Serato-like screen in DJ Pro. So if you're used to seeing the waveforms and seeing the jog wheels like this, then this uh, this would be the screen I recommend. It is more advanced and there's more stuff you could do and see within this screen. So if we go over here to the mixer again, we still have the same exact mixer, the same thing with the volume up, volume down. And then if you go down here, you get Nero mix, Q points, you get loops, FX, and then you get another mixer. So you could have double mixer if you want. We have volume faders here, and then we have mixer here, and then we have a mixer here. So if you wanna use the mixer and Q points or the mixer and effects, you could have 
the volume faders here, you could have the EQs here, and then you can be using effects all on the same screen, and you will be able to adjust the volume just like that, the way that any DJ is used to changing the volume is right here, easy to access. You just have to flip through a couple screens. On Pro Mode, you would start in the library section, and then you could simply just switch over here, and then you have access to the volume faders. And then if you want to take it a step farther, we have the EQs. Let's just go on over to the looper. So this is the looper and the sampler. They do not have individual volume controls. I made a video about that. A lot of people were asking. But if you want to control the volume of of all the samples, there's this slider down here. So this is on low. And then this is high. So if you want to fade in samples or even if you want to fade in loops, down here to the right, you go to loops. And it's the same volume fader over here. You could set a loop going. And then we can lower and raise it, pause and stop. And then now let's just go over to the next screen. Auto mix, we're not really gonna be able to adjust that. One deck mode is just really for preparing single tracks and cue points, really no way to adjust the volume. But now we get into four decks. So now we're in four decks. Let me just load up something on each deck so you guys could see. So we're in the four deck mode. And even in four deck note mode, if we go up here to the right, we get volume faders for each and every deck. So we have four separate volume faders and a filter and EQs. So if you're used to using four decks or if you know some tricks that involve using four decks when you mix, you still have access to the individual volume controls for each and every deck in four deck mode, which is really cool. And now in video mode, in video mode, it's gonna be the same thing as pro mode. You could do the music down here and then you could select your songs, look at your playlist. And then if you wanna do the volume controller, you have that same great volume controller that is in pro mode that you could use when you're mixing with music videos or if you're doing, or if you're using the visualizer. In every screen in DJ Pro, we have a front facing volume fader, which, make, which makes switching from this app from another DJ software effortlessly and easy to pick up and easy to learn really quickly. So let me know in the comments if you, if this helped you, if you didn't know how to access this. Also let me know if there's any other questions that you may have regarding DJ Pro AI and DJing with the iPad. I try to get back to all of the questions as soon as possible. Also, if you guys wanna learn more about all you could do with DJ Pro AI and all you could do with DJing with the iPad, subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. I have over 300 videos and I'm making multiple videos every single week on the subject. Thank you.